Hello friends, now we are going to discuss about the application of conductometry. We know that the neutralization point of acid base titration or equivalent point of acid base titration can be determined by using the indicator. Such titrations also can be determined by using the conductometric method. In the conductometric method, here end point is obtained by the replacement of one ion of particular mobility with another ion which is having different mobility that means one particular ion having the particular conductivity that ion is replaced by another ion which is having different conductivity by thereby change in conductance we are going to obtain the end point however this end point is not sharp so that in order to obtain the sharp end point we are going to draw the graph that is the conductivity versus volume of base added first application that we are going to discuss is that is the titration between strong acid versus strong base strong acid means it is a acidic compound which will dissociate completely and gives H plus ion. Strong base means it is a basic compound. It will dissociate completely and it will, it will give the OH minus ion. Here we are going to take the NaOH in burette and we are going to take the SCL in the beaker. In SCL we are going to dip the conductivity cell. Initial conductivity of the SCL solution is noted. Then we are going to add the NaOH from the burette into beaker. That time the Na plus ions from the beaker, uh, burette solution is going to react with Cl minus ions present in the solution and it is going to give rise to NaCl salt. This NaCl salt is electrolyte and it will dissociate. It will exist in the form of Na plus and Cl minus ion. Here, highly mobilized H plus ion is replaced by low mobilized Na plus ion. Here, mobility of H plus ion is 350 per ohm per meter. But the mobility of Na plus ion is 50 per ohm per meter. Because of this, highly mobilized ion is replaced by Na plus ion which is low mobilized hence the there is thereby decrease in the conductance is observed it is shown in the graph in the graph initially the conductivity decrease is observed due to the replacement of highly mobilized h plus ion with low mobilized na plus ion when the all the h plus ions are completely neutralized then at that point whatever the NaOH we are going to add it will remain as it is so that whatever the NaOH is going to add it now it will exist in the form of Na plus and OH minus ion the OH minus ion mobility is 198 per ohm per meter because of that we are going to observe the, there is a sudden increase in the conductivity so that by drawing the graph conductivity versus volume of NaOH, we are going to get the end point of this titration.